Still in the world of movies, filmmaker Lancelot Imacion lead other cast and crew members for the premiere of his movie, Bege, in Lagos and Port Harcourt. Take a look. First son. The hugely anticipated Nollywood movie, Bege, the Omorodian Saga, was premiered over the weekend at a cinema in the Garden City of Port Harcourt. The movie, which was directed by legendary director Lancelot Simasson, had veteran actor Sam Dede playing the lead role. If it not happen like that, Bege go happen for this town. Please say something. Please. As a filmmaker, I'm very, very, very cultural. I like uh, cultural teams. I like exploring uh, stuff that are of cultural value to us. And uh, this is just one of those things I just wanted to play with. See how far someone can go in, in holding on to his culture, no matter whatever it is. Starring an assembled cast of very recognizable Nollywood stars, Bege has the likes of Iniedo, Sani Moazu, Zubi Michael, Junior Pope, Brother Shaggy, Jide Kosoko, Nosa Rex, Angela Okorie, and Harry B. There was also a cameo appearance from the comic Charles Inoje. As another one of our, our... Speaking on the red carpet, Sam Dede, who plays the role of Azua, an imprisoned first son of a Bini chief, explains that the idea behind Bege is to draw attention to some of our traditions that we may be forgetting and how to revive interest in tradition. One thing about this movie is that, you know, it, it, it gives us a picture of something that we have all, or we all, um, sometimes making serious effort to forget the issues of African traditional beliefs. It's a modern story, but it is rooted in African traditional beliefs, which we are making a whole lot of effort to discard, you know. So, uh, the, the, the story of uh, the role of uh, a firstborn when the father dies, you know, what role should the you know a firstborn play when he whether whether he's an imbecile or he's a never do well, that is the first son of the father. Nobody takes that role from him. He doesn't need to do anything but give him recognition as firstborn of the man. It's not a male you know or female gender fight. No, a man is a man. So. That's the, 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 the story about Bege. You know, like I said, a, a modern story steeped in traditional beliefs, you know. So it would make sense to everybody. should be on a lot. <laughs> Osahon Ojo is the executive producer of the movie. He encourages people to come out and see the movie, which will be available in cinemas nationwide from the 7th of October 2022, before he explains his reasons for financing the movie and entertainment in general. I am well aware that our movie industry is actually just getting on its feet. I, I am being pushed both by passion and the, the need to try and send a message from this side of the world that we, the Benin, most especially, that we, we are the cradle of entertainment. And this is me trying to bring back our tradition or our, our culture back to where it began, which is Benin City. So it's, it's both a thing of passion, it's a thing of passion, a thing, of, a thing, of, a thing that I love, uh, and I, 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 I tend to stay here for a very long time because this is a message I want to send and I encourage all other people and uh, my youths in Benin to also try and uh, venture into entertainment. Among a plethora of beautiful ladies and handsome men, some who spoke to Channels Entertainment both before and after the screening, were quite impressed at the very high quality of the action-packed movie. 
I think it's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with the level at which uh, movie producers are doling out more movies. I'm also more impressed because I, I'm somebody who preaches about Port Harcourt and I'm happy that a lot of Port Harcourt acts featured in this movie. You know, I'm very excited because I know Mr. Lancelot very well. He has directed also one of my movies, Labo Quest, a few years ago. So he's also a personal friend. He's uh, very professional and very capable. I'm looking because at the cast uh, of the actresses and actors that you selected. So I think that's a very big movie. According to Ino Moses Jonah, who is the associate producer, the culture and regard for tradition must be balanced with the law. And our children must learn to uphold culture and tradition. This job is about the Omodion saga where we have to play tradition, we have to play the regard for law also and also the rights of a first son in the Bini Kingdom. This is culture based story and is intellectual property also that we want our children to emulate and understand. Bege the Omorodion saga is set in the ancient city of Benin and tells the story of Azua who is serving a life sentence in prison fighting to uphold the tradition of the Benins in claiming his birthright as the firstborn of a chief. It will be available for screening in cinemas nationwide from the 7th of October 2022. Please go blow for jungle. What's the problem? Trigger shame. Even a rock will go bad.